So your TV doesn't have a standby light. You have it plugged in, and then I, I turn on the power, and if you if you look at the standby light, there should be a little light that appears right here. If you're not getting that, then you probably have an issue with your power supply board, and, and this is the power supply. So with it plugged in, if you have a multimeter, um, right here, it gives you the standby voltage. It actually tells you what you should expect. And right here it says that this pin right here we have standby on is 8 volts. And we have 13 volts here. So I'm going to use my, multi, uh, my multimeter here. And I'll just put it in voltage mode. And for the ground, you can just connect it to the base of the TV. And I'm just going to be testing that pin. And I'm getting 1.5 volts. And that's not enough voltage to power this main board. And so basically we have a problem with the power supply. So you could, um, if you're not, if you, if you don't want to go deeper, I'll show you, like, we're going to actually fix one of the components, hopefully and get this going. But you can order a new board by putting in the number right here. Okay, so they have a, it's a zero, it's a BN4400. And then you just type that in, you order a new board, pop it in, it should work. But I'm going to see if I can fix this. I'm going to take this apart. So here we have the board out, and then we can do a little bit of testing. Um, when you power on the, the main power, you can plug it in, and you test from here to here, you should get uh, over 100 volts, okay, like 170. This is this in the capacitor so we know that the rectifier is working then um, you have go into dive mode and then you have uh, a shot key diode here so if you if you connect here if you get in a short on any of these kind of guys you should get a forward voltage about like a half volt right then we have a switching MOSFET, I believe it's a switching MOSFET there, and you should get a you know a half well. If you get a short on any of these guys, then you don't have a problem. Um, I'm just checking with the MOSFETs. You can also check with these capacitors, uh, these uh, sorry these shot key diodes, and just make sure that. You don't have a short here, and these are all in series, so that's fine. Um, there's a diode here. You want to check all the diodes, just make sure that you're not getting a short on these diodes. And we're getting a half volt, so they all look fine, right? Check your fuse, make sure your fuse is good, and if that's all good, you probably have an issue with one of these um, MOSFETs on the bottom. So just put the negative at the, at the top. I'll show you the, the multimeter here. And I'm getting half volt, which is good for this guy here. Half volt there. Half volt there. Now on this guy right here, you see, I'm getting, I'm getting a short. So I'll look, make you so you can hear it. You see, I'm getting a short on this guy here. So it's either a bad capacitor because there is a capacitor right here, you see, um, or it's this guy. So I'm going to remove this, and we'll see if that short from here to here goes away. And if it does, then we know this guy's bad. Um, okay. So I'll remove this guy, and I'll get the code off of it too, so we can see what he is. It's probably N-channel MOSFET. So here's the chip 
It is a N channel MOSFET. Um, I Googled it here. So it's N channel MOSFET. It's 550 volts, uh, 3 volts on, 11 amps. So let me just remove that package and then um, we'll see if that short goes away. So. I'm just putting some flux. Going at about 400 degrees Celsius here. We'll have to heat up the board. I'm going to be putting more, more heat at the back because uh, it has a heat sink basically. Let's see if we have a short still. And we do. So we have a bad guy there. I'm just gonna see if it's any short still. It seems to be okay. Alright, 
I'm gonna put some liquid solder on here. Put on the new MOSFET. It's jiggling because the fan's on. See what we get here. We're not getting a short anymore. I'm getting the half a volt forward voltage right there. Wonderful. The moment of truth, I'm going to be turning on it, and then we'll be seeing if the light turns on there. So I'm going to switch on the power. And you can see the power is going on there and the backlight is going. So that was the issue was that burnt MOSFET. And you can see the screen's on, wonderful, beauty. I'll just let it run for a bit to make sure that the TV's still working. Maybe I'll put it back together and play a video on it and we'll check it out. And there, it's working. Now, just make sure you go into settings and you change your backlight. This was set up to 20, which is like maximum backlight and that will destroy your LEDs over time. So just turn that down a little bit and it should save the TV for many more years. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next repair video. Thanks for watching this video. Hope it helped out. If you enjoy electronics or want to learn about how to fix electronics, consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.